Hello and welcome back to the Building Your Life After Traumatic Brain Injury YouTube channel. I'm happy to see that you decided to stop by to watch this presentation. Thank you. In today's video presentation, I'm going to be sharing what I shared in response to a comment I received concerning why we are blamed and shamed after a traumatic brain injury by someone who's close to us. To read the article, I'll pull my glasses on and bring up the article. I want to thank you for your time. Here's the article. Being mistreated by someone close to us after a brain injury. Several days ago, I received a comment in response to my article, Discovering Our Superpower After a Traumatic Brain Injury. The individual shared with me that they were frustrated with being shamed and blamed by someone close to them after their brain injury. Someone who is close to them who shames and blames them. Shames and blames them for what they are unable to accept. In response, I shared what I have learned through my own experience. After sharing my response, I felt le led to share the information here with anyone who could benefit. Anyone who is living with a brain injury and has someone close to them. Someone close to them who shames and blames them shames and blames them because they are unable or unwilling to accept what has happened to us because of our brain injury. Response to their comment. You are welcome. For many years I tried to convince someone close to me about my brain injury and how it affected me. Doing so made this individual angry and frustrated. He thought I was making excuses. When I finally got sick and tired of trying to convince them, this individual, I let go. I let them believe what they needed to believe, and I continued to do my best to accept my own reality. In the past four to five years, this individual and I have had a much better relationship, as I do not try to convince them of anything. As I have let go, this individual is growing in their awareness of my reality, awareness of how my brain injury affects my life and relationships. What I discovered, I've discovered several things through my experience, several things when interacting with people who are close to me. For people to accept that I'm doing the best I can just for today, they would need to feel feelings and make choices choices or changes. However, not everyone is willing or able to process their feelings or make changes. Grieve what has happened to me and sub subsequently make changes in the way that they interact with me. Grieving is a process of confronting one's denial, being angry, bargaining, trying to change things, experiencing sadness and depression, and then getting to a place of acceptance. The process. Denial initially minimizes and even ignores reality. Anger then evolves as the cloud parts to reveal what has occurred. Bargaining then elicits the what if, the should have, would have, and could have messages in an attempt to change what has happened. When the individual realize that, realizes that this debating will not change what has occurred, the finality of loss of the loss. A sense of helplessness evolves into depression. With time and support, the depression begins to lift and a degree of acceptance is gained. Acceptance then empowers the individual to make peace in the face of that loss. Acceptance that gives the individual the ability to feel feelings and make changes. Changes to empower their lives and their relationships. If they are unable or unwilling to grieve and accept. Instead, they may be using shame, blame, and anger as they interact with us. Blame, shame, and, and being angry at us because of their fear. Fear because of what they do not understand. Fear because of what they do not know how to feel and make feel and change. Fear that they may not even be aware of because anger is about fear. 
By recognizing what is going on because of a lack of acceptance, I am able to have compassion. Compassion for both myself and my reality and how people interact with me because of their lack of acceptance as I am able to let go of my need to convince them, as I let go of things that I cannot change, whether these individuals can accept my reality or they choose not to accept my reality, I have more peace in my life. I am able to practice the principle of live and let live. Some people may never be able to accept my reality for whatever reason. That is more about them than it is about me. As I remember this, I have an easier time living life on life's terms. As I live life on life's terms, I am able to let people believe what they need to believe, believe what they need to believe so that I can get on with my life instead of trying to convince them by using my time and energy, energy which is fruitless. I realized that after trying about 10 years. What helped me to grow in acceptance? <clears throat> I wrote an article several years ago. I also made a video and slideshow presentation of the article, which you may also find to be helpful. The information helps me to have awareness so that I can grow in, ac in acceptance. Growing in acceptance helps me to realize that I do not have to feel or stay stuck stay stuck because other people are unable, unwilling to accept my reality. By growing in the acceptance of my reality, I am able to realize that I have choices. Choices that empower my ability to have healthy relationships with both other people and myself. In the article here, I have a link to the article that I wrote several years ago. The article is Brain Injury, Why Do I Feel So Misunderstood and Shunned? And again, in that article, I have a slideshow presentation and a video presentation of the article to share the information in a different way for people to learn in different ways because we all learn in different ways. This is the end of the video presentation of the article. I want to thank you for your time. Before I go, let me encourage you with this. Please do not give up on yourself. A loving God of your process because more will be revealed to you and to me with time. The pieces of the puzzle will come together in the correct order and at the right time. I'll say so long for now. God bless both you and your family and have a great day. Bye now.